yep. in terms of a chance at any kind of Liberty Division championship and also uh, at any chance of making the double-A playoffs. They've got to win tonight. Milton Hershey's thinking, we win this game, we're well on our way to playing for a division title, uh, maybe against a, a steel high, uh, or, or then perhaps making the double-A playoffs in District 3. So there's a lot of riding on this game tonight. We've got a, a Division One quarterback for Trinity, Chris Crane going to Boston College, and the Jambrocks will get the ball first. And we're getting ready underway on primetime Saturday night football on the Sports Fever Television Network. It's a beautiful evening in that's, Central PA. That's Jonathan Plummer set to kick, and we're underway. Not the kind of start that the Shamrocks wanted. It's picked up by Milton Hershey. An incredible mistake by Trinity. Jamal, and the Spartans get the big break. Jamal Smith right there with the phone recovery. He's number seven. He's the, uh, the quarterback linebacker. And uh, I'll tell you what amazing that we can make a mistake similar to what we watched last night at the uh, Cumberland Valley game. Actually, actually this is, there's the starting items for the Spartans of Milton Hershey, 4-1. Quarterback Josh Pope likes to run the ball. Roosevelt Davis, 511 yards, 95 carries, 10 scores. Look out for him. They run a little bit of a spread offense with a double tight. Jonathan Plummer, the big talent on this offense, 6-4, 2 can really do a lot. He'll go both ways. Pretty good offensive line. We had Milton Hershey last year to open up our season, our inaugural primetime Saturday Night Football telecast. This is Davis. That. Davis steps up to about the 20, and it gets about a yard. Now let's look at that Shamrock defense. Yeah, they've been under siege the last couple weeks, but Steel High uh, first, a 21-7 loss, and last week, 42-35 yep. loss to Camp Hill. And they've been faced with a lot of injuries here. And they're also being uh, put on their heels just to start the game. Dan Hurst, well. a big key at, at linebacker, great talent. Matt Westerns, the ball, uh, plays plays at the corner. And David Birdwell, who transferred right before the first game from Boiling Springs, where they had hoped to have him as quarterback, he's now playing defense for the Shamrocks. And they're going to have to step it up here right from the get go. Second and 10. Quick drop by Pope. And he gets about three yards. You see who caught that football. Kind of buried in the crowd there. That's uh, Sartungu. Sartungu, he's a flanker. They kind of spread the two flankers, the single back set. They may get to touch the ball or run the ball. Mostly they're out there to get the short pass. And when you're down uh, in the red zone here, defensively, you're in the uh, single coverage there. So man on man, he was right there on Tungu, but he still picked up a couple of yards. I think you'll see a very athletic uh, uh, team from Trinity. They've got a lot of athletes, as well as does Milton Hershey. For, du for double-A football teams, these guys can really get up and down the field. they got a lot of athletes out there. Pope under center. He's going to roll out. So throw for the end zone. Got a man out there. And he hangs he on. A tremendous catch. Wow. Touchdown. Incredible catch. A tremendous catch by Maurice Bird, I believe. Maurice Bird Maurice with the amazing Bird. grab. He's the, he's the guy that picked up the football. <laughs> exactly. He's the man that set this up. And then here he is hanging on to the football when it looked like it was almost an impossible catch. And they strike often and early here we go bird is 5'8 155 he's only a junior a lot of underclassmen on this milton hershey team and the spartans strike first with 10 24 to go off the turnover we saw a couple scores early last last night same way sure early did. turnovers mistakes will cost you plumber's extra point hits the oh. upright and he hits it right on the money <laughs> but it's no good it's a and that's your way point extra point which was no good way better checking way better banking from waypoint bank and like last night we saw a lot of those extra points and unconverted here's the replay of the touchdown as we go to break prime time saturday night football milton hershey six trinity nothing want a deal on a new great used car chrysler honda chevy jeep a diverse two million dollar inventory changing daily and only the very best used cars are stocked at lb smith over 200 in all want a deal on a great used vehicle the area's best selection on pre-owned four-wheel drives here at 12th and market lemoyne not only ford vehicles but chevy dodge toyota the inventory is always changing want a deal you gotta come get it lb smith 12th and market in lemoyne 
Join the West Shore Health Club, where you'll be able to work out in a friendly, relaxing atmosphere. They have multiple exercise rooms, a swimming pool, and the most cardio exercise equipment in the area, so you never have to wait to start your training. For over 35 years, the West Shore Health Club has been making fitness fun. And as a member, you also receive a full membership to World Gym in Harrisburg, open 24 hours Monday through Friday. No matter where you are, you'll only be minutes away from your workout. The West Shore Health Club in Camp Hill and World Gym in Harrisburg, the area's most complete fitness centers. Don't let anything stop you. For unbeatable steaks, baby back ribs, or our award-winning crab cakes, Doc Holliday's world-class steak, and a whole lot more. All right, back at Milton Hershey and the Spartans, the home team, jump on the board first. Six-nothing, touchdown pass, 17 yards from Joshua Pope, the quarterback, on that rollout. Yeah, and a mistake on the opening kickoff, a fumble, and uh, there you go. And we already have uh, a touchdown on the board. Plummer is set to kick off again, and this is a situation where Trinity's really got to concentrate and make a nice drive here, get right back in its game. Well, you took care of us on weather tonight, that's for sure, Tom. A little bit chilly again, good football weather. 15-yard line. This is Smith. Oh, is that Sullenberger? That was Sullenberger, I believe. Let's go back to the touchdown and show you that again because Maurice is also the gentleman who uh, made the fumble recovery. Now he's going to be on the receiving end of this. Here's Pope rolling out to his right. He's just going to lay it up there and watch this catch. Watch the concentration because he kind of bobbles into the defense. is actually there. Nice defense. And he just pulls it in and uh, hauls it in from the ground. David Laying Birdwell ground. had him covered. He yep. just couldn't come down with the ball. Uh, just a fantastic play. Already on the docket is the leading play for the Saturn play of the game. That's for sure. We get our first look now at Chris Crane. Yes, he's going to pass on first down. Well, Crane's got a guy open. He's going to run it himself. He's gone down the sidelines. All the way out to the 48. Nice Great speed by the big fella. Of course, Chris Crane was the, one of the key playmakers, one of the key guys inside for the Trinity State Basketball Championship team last year. Crane, just, the QB, the Hurst brothers at the running back yep. and fullback spots. Western Calabrese are playmakers. Chris Crane, the one to watch, though, because he's really a playmaker all by himself. I mean, we just saw it there. He goes back to the pass, and then he picks up 15 yards well, of the run. He's a 100-100 guy waiting to happen. And what I mean by that is 100 yards passing, 100 yep, yards 100 rushing. Running. That's there hard to go. do, Tom. I know you probably clipped a few <laughs> those off down there at but Miller, Maryland, in no, your better day. Maybe two yards a game, something like that. That's about it. Here we go again. First and 10 to 47. Why not? Crane keeps it himself. How about that? He's going to carry a tackler inside the 40. Here come the Shamrocks. That I was, think we're going to have ourselves a day at the races. Let's take a look at the Milton Hershey defense who uh, just got caught off guard on that one. Uh, Victor Dugba at defensive end, Johnny LeBoyne, Larray James, Albert Anthony. And these guys are going to have their hands full for plays like that. Plummer at linebacker again. He's one of the big, going to be a big name on both sides of the ball yep. tonight. Sorry, Tungu, Keith Gilcrest, and the whole gang all set to go as we are. Alicia Loy, he loves to come up and nail you too from that safety spot. First and 10, Trinity. Crane's going to keep it himself again. Wow. Yeah, we got a uh, carrying the load here. There. We'll see what the officials have. In the meantime, Costas Candies can help you raise that money for whatever you got going on. I'm telling you, a lot of folks need to raise a lot of money, especially when fall rolls around. It's back to school time. Here's a great way to do it. All you have to do is uh, pick up these candies. They'll give you some great ideas on how to raise that money. Call them 1-800-507-1008, and they've been doing it since 1922. They kind of know what they're doing. There's and they also uh, sponsor our fan poll. What region of Pennsylvania has the best high school football? And I can hear the debates big time around the dinner table here. Register your vote at PASportsFever.com. That's PASportsFever.com. We had a record month last year on PASportsFever.com. Almost a million page views in the month wow. of September. Never had that before. It's unbelievable how many people are coming here to read about high school sports. Hey, it's good stuff. There's that great arm of Crane hitting the slant. That's Westner. Inside the 30 to 26. Wow. Here come the Shamrocks. They're going to get right back in this. I really like that play right there because it's a quick hitting pass. We've seen Crane do it with his legs, and now they can turn to his arm. And that's the kind of play where it's easy to execute, and yet it's a positive game of 12, even 15 yards. Tell you what. Who almost got, was that? That was Victor Dogba from his defensive yep. end spot. Almost got a hand on that football. Perhaps he did. Great work by the, by the, uh, camera crew here yeah a lot of times those especially those quick hit passes like that they're just timing plays he's just thrown to a spot and the receiver's got to get there so uh, those are all timing stuff that they work on all week long they got those wing helmets the michigan delaware blue hen look <laughs> yep crane, crane on the option keeping the football again this time there's all kinds of spartans 
And that'll bring up second down. Central Penn College continuing education, focused coursework for the busy adult. Evening, Saturday, online classes, any way you want it, call continuing education, 1-800-759-2727. Tom, you're a bridge to success. Right there, Central Penn. We finally Penn. found it. All right. <laughs> I've been looking for that bridge, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> We're back in second down and 10 now for Chris Crane and the Shamrocks, who definitely need to get back into this. They're down 6 nothing already. Wow, uh, Crane is living up to the billing right off the get-go, is he not? He is the man. Going to give it to Hirsch. That is Matt Hirsch. Not Matt and Dan. Down. Matt and Dan Hirsch are both 6 foot. They're both 180. They're both... Hirsch brothers. They both live together. They're two tough little cusses, let me tell you what. <laughs> Third down 11 now. So we get in that long range situation, but they're in good field position. With Crane, though, I mean, 11 yards is nothing. This guy, they just cover it real quick. All right, third down 11 for Chris Crane. And they spread them out pretty good here, Gordon. One back, four wide receivers. Crane with a quick slant. Great Can't defense. Ball's a little bit behind him. Still a catchable ball, though. Good defense by Keith Gilchrist. What do you do here? You're fourth down. You're uh, you're kind of marching. You go probably for out it. of field goal range. I think you go for it. You go for it. You go for practice, but maybe you want to attack this in 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 pieces of five on third down. I mean, I think that's what he's trying to do. Just get that five six yards in that little soft spot in the defense, but. Uh, Crane threw it a little little behind his receiver. Just looking at Coach Jeff Boger there, he looks uh, like he's pretty confident in this call right here. There's Crane's being rushed. He's in trouble. He's going to throw it incomplete. Yeah, he had to get rid of that. Look for Hirsch down there. He's well covered, and Milton Hirsch's defense holds. Larray James, I'll tell you, had him in his grasp, and uh, not much for Chris Crane to do other than throw the ball away. I guess he made the right decision there. A lot of credit to Eric Rush, the linebacker, who stayed right with Hirsch. He went yep. right through the line trying to get down that middle of that offense. Great, great pressure, though, is what set up the incompletion. How about that defense by Milton Hershey? Stiffens and takes over first and 10 on the 28-yard line. 7.25 to go, first quarter. Just underway here at Henry Hershey Field. What a beautiful facility here on the campus of Milton Hershey School. And what a beautiful night, losing those clouds that we had earlier today. Things cleared out a little bit. And he done a little Ooh. option of Roosevelt Davis. Great story on Roosevelt Davis, the running back for uh, Milton Hershey. His brother, Rodney Davis, is a tailback for that big powerhouse down in Bucks County, the Chamonix. There you go. And they play this afternoon against Central Bucks East. We didn't get a score yet. We hope to get one. Our, our sideline guy, James Staley, who we're hopefully going to here pretty soon, uh, James would probably get us a score that game. But in one day, both Davis brothers, um, and of course, next Friday night. Yeah, we'll have them next week. Chamonix North Penn next Friday night on a statewide telecast, and we'll get to see his brother Rodney run for those uh, Neshaminy Redskins. Second down and long now for Milton Hershey, and Pope does stick to the line. Interesting that Pope wears number 38. A little unusual for a quarterback. He's going to do a little reverse. Ooh. Like the idea of the move, but it didn't fool the Trinity defense whatsoever. But you know what I like about it? that's good coaching because the Trinity defense they stay at home, especially when those ends they tend to get sucked in on a play like that. He stayed home, made the play. I'll tell you what. North Penn, number one team in the state. We saw St. Joe prep a couple last week. We're going to see North Penn next week. They hammered Glenn Mills last night, 40 to 5, 19. Yep. They've got a Boston College former teammate of Chris Crane, the tailback, Kevin Akins. Future teammate. Future teammate. He'll be playing in. Uh, and then the uh, big game on Saturday, Camp Hill Lions taking on Steel High Rollers. And I'll tell you why, Steel High, a fun team to watch this year. 76 nothing last night. I don't know what Camp Hill. Was? I don't know what Camp Hill did this afternoon. Hopefully, we'll know that before the end of the evening. But. Uh, that could be for the Liberty Division Championship right there. Here's Amazing. Pope. Here's Pope to pass. Going to throw deep. Oh, he's, oh, he's got a man. man open. Oh. Incomplete. He was wide open. Certainly beat his man. Jonathan Plummer got behind the defense. Three defenders he got behind. Great idea. Actually, I believe that was Steve Perez. Well, I, may have, I thought that was 88. It was 89. 89, actually. Steve my, Perez. My, my, my mistake. Legend of Sports Recruiting. A new era in video recruiting. He's... These guys really put it together for you. you Got to give them a call. Great way to highlight your uh, your son or daughter or whatever you're trying to, to show there. Punt by Milton Hershey. Nice punt. Taken by Calabrese. He's got running room. 50. Whoa. What moves. He's pushed hands with the football and all. Nice job all the way down to the 38-yard line. 
Now some great field position for uh, Trinity. Yeah, what a Start this drive. There's your phone number for Legend Sports Recruiting. There's the disc you end up with. Yeah, oh, I was going to say, that is a sharp. That's the way you do it. you, you, you got to stick out these days. These, these coaches are getting stacks of tapes and whatever. Tip, uh, uh, put on a DVD, a nice little photo like that. What's that number there? one 432 7400 or visit legendsportsrecruiting.com. Back to action here with Chris Crane and good field position ball at the 39 of Milton Hershey. Scott Westner out here on one-on-one -on -one coverage. And give it to his fullback, Hirsch. Not a whole lot there. That was Dan Hirsch. Only, only Mr. and Mrs. Hirsch know which one. <laughs> yeah. All we which. have to do is say Hirsh, and they yeah. decide who's here. Uh, who's here, man? They know who Dan and Matt is. Dan's two, Matt's three. That makes it even tougher, doesn't it? This a great guy. Twentieth yeah. season now here at Milton Hershey. What a great place to coach, and uh, you know it's what he calls his dream job to be back here coaching his team. He's a class act. And we're going to take a timeout. As Trinity, I believe, calls a timeout. Sports Fever yep. Television Network, prime time Saturday Night Football continues after this. The Caddy Shack Restaurant located at Armitage Golf Club on Orange Bridge Road in Mechanicsburg, a central Pennsylvania tradition for great food, great prices, great service, great time. Caddy Shack offering specials every day from our bucket of wings, mild to hot for just $9.95, to our juicy 16-ounce sirloins every Tuesday for $9.95. The Caddy Shack, a great place for casual fun night out, a perfect venue for banquets and private parties. Call us 975-0940. Spend time with us at the Caddy Shack at the Armitage Golf Club, Orsbridge Road, Mechanicsburg. Bob? Yes, sir? Let's go to lunch to discuss yes. that promotion. I'd love to, sir, but... But what, Bob? I'm still waiting for my ding repair. Having trouble getting ahead? Hi, I'm Cindy Rowe. For auto glass repair or replacement, our 10 locations and mobile vans put you way ahead in quality service and response time. Cindy Rowe certified technicians get you back on the road in no time with guaranteed results. We even handle the insurance paperwork. For auto glass repair or replacement, you're way ahead when the one you know is Cindy Rowe. West Hafer Construction, proud supporters of youth programs. West Hafer Construction, commercial, industrial, institutional, new construction, expansions, renovations, turnkey fit-outs. West Hafer Construction, wishing all teams good luck with this year's sports season. Well, Joshua Pope, Pope hit Maurice Bird for a touchdown. Milton Hershey up 6-0, but here come the Shamrocks. And Chris Crane keeps it himself. As nice little pick up there, almost five yards. Pretty much been to Chris Crane show yeah, so far. Pretty much. But you know, when you got an athlete like Chris, why not? You know, he's the kind of guy you want to hold the football, whether he's running, whether he's passing. He's the kind of athlete to make something happen, so no problems there. Now we're up to third down and six. The ball is at the 35-yard line. Great field position, great opportunity here for the Trinity Shamrocks, and an important first down because they're already down by six. They want to make something happen out of this drive. Here come the Shamrocks. Third. They got another third and long, though, Tom. They didn't get it done on the last drive. Let's see what they do here. That's why it's an important call. Green. Oh, Good he's got call. a guy open down there. Put the ball in the money. First down Nicely inside the done. 20. Nicely done. And that's wow. just what we were talking about. A quick hit, making it happen. And there's Jeff DeFrank back in the lineup. You can see he's limping a little bit. He broke his ankle. He hasn't played. Last week was the first week he that came back to Chicago. play. That's really hurt. He's one of the, he was one of the premier punt returners yep. in, in really the state of Pennsylvania, not only here in District 3. And a great, a great talent, and he's finally back in the lineup, but there he makes a great catch. But and you, you can know see he doesn't have the wheels he used to have. He's a senior, and you need that senior leadership, too, and especially in those tight third and down situations. Jeff DeFrank, good to see him back in the lineup, mm -hmm. and he gets a first down inside the 20 for the Shamrocks. Running wide. A lot of room. It's like that's Calabrese. All the way down to the eight-yard line. And that'll bring up uh, first down and first and goal, I believe, unless they measure here. Nope, they're going to go ahead and... Call it first and goal at the eight, Gordon. That's Tony Calabrese. He's a senior. Here's the pass to DeFrank. And you know what DeFrank did? He got inside, he got behind the defense, he got and the, he just made the catch. And you know what? He waited for the ball. He came back to it so his quarterback could get on the ball and then took off. That's what I mean by senior leadership. He was co he's comfortable with the situation. Yep. I know where I'm at. I know I got a first down. Just down, catch right. the ball. Exactly. Some advice for those Penn State wideouts. <laughs> they could use Oh, here's Crane. Oh, he didn't have a lot of time. He's not taking a real deep drop, so he doesn't have a lot of room for air. The pressure's going to get to him pretty quickly. These guys right here, these Allstate insurance agents, 
Paul Mattis, Jan Vita, Laura Lohman, give them a call. They've been big supporters of Primetime Friday and Primetime Saturday Night Football. 731-5456 for our good friend Paul Mattis. Jan Vita, Laura Lohman, give her a call. 646-8238. And your good hands with Allstate. Bring up second down and goal. And it's about, we'll mark it at the nine, I guess, for Chris Crane and the Shamrocks. He pumps. Dog was chasing him. He's going to put it, take it, take it back, He's run down, down to, about the five. He's tucked it away, pulled it, pulled in, tucked it away, took off. And you can see that he's already got that uh, remnants of your little rainstorm this morning <laughs> all over him. But uh, yeah, you know, we talked about this being a fantastic field, and you're watching the replay here. Watch Chris Crane get away from him, and then still have the presence of mind from the 20 to make it all the way down to the five. And that's what BC is licking their chops about for next year. Here's a guy who can make good decisions. Uh, tuck the ball and go with it when he has to. We saw a really good play last night on Cumberland Valley's defensive end, Ember. Remember that? And they're seeing Dogba get in the backfield almost every play now. Yep. Some real pesky, tough defensive ends. Rushing the passer. Crane trying to throw a little middle screen. He was pressured again, and guess who? Victor Dogba. Yep. Just, hey. the, just what you were saying right there. And uh, Trinity's going to have to adjust a little bit and say, okay, if you guys are going to rush us every play, we're going to throw that screen. I think that's what it was trying to develop there, and even they didn't have enough time to even develop the screen at that point. Watch this. They expected the blitz. Yep, that's what it was. They were developing the screen, but that middle was just so clogged there. up. It wasn't there. Now they have another fourth down. They've got to make a play here, or they're going to find another opportunity down the drain. Fourth and six. Two backs now in that wing T set. First leaves the backfield. Oh, good oh, call. Ball's right on the hands. I'll tell you what, that's a catchable Matt ball. Matt Wessner, and he couldn't bring it in, and Milton Hershey stops the Shamrocks on another drive deep into their territory. Another missed opportunity. Here's that Legends Trinity. replay. What I want to see here is, is the ball wet, or is it just a, a catch he should have made? A little bit out there. Tough catch, but catchable, I would say. Coverage there was Keith Gilchrist. See it from the other angle here. So with 2.50 to go here in the first quarter, Milton Hershey's still up 6-0. Opportunity lost there. That yeah, was just a little out of his reach. But uh, not a bad drive by Trinity. Certainly uh, an indication they can move the ball when, uh, when needed. Red Robin, three locations. Harrisburg, Hershey, Mechanicsburg. I love them all. Good food. Good Check stuff. Great burgers. Pope on the keep. Oh. oh, ball is loose. Ball gets torn away. And who made the play? Number one. Joe Dawson made the hit that? on Pope. And Wessner comes up with the fumble, and that's a big turnover. That is huge. Trinity takes the football at the nine-yard line. First and goal for the Shamrocks. A big turnover. Wessner recovered the loose ball. But the hit was applied by Joe Dawson, the 5'8", 185-pound junior. Gordon, watch the replay here. Pretty simple play. Pope is just going to keep it on the right-hand uh, side. But as he goes down, loses the handle. Number five, uh, pulling the ball out of there. Is that Dawson? Pulling the ball out. Here comes the Shamrocks. Crane looking for the end zone, throwing for the pylon. Oh. Just a little out of the reach. That's the same play they tried to score previously, this time only to the right side. That was for DeFrank. It was just out of his reach. Just barely, though. Crane's got a nice touch on that ball. He's just got to find his groove tonight. You know, I hope he didn't come back too soon because he's really laboring on that ankle. Well, goodness gracious. I'm not the doctor, obviously, but I know, but there's certainly guys who, uh, certainly guys who, uh, who want to come back a little quicker than maybe they should. Here's There's the fullback, straight ahead, inside, down the five-yard line. Almost got inside the five. He was kind of yanked back. That's Hirsch, Dan Hirsch. Nice play by Trinity there. And they've got to do this, too. They can't just pass it every play. They've got to prove that they can control that line of scrimmage and move the ball forward. And now they're down to about the five-yard line, third down. 2.14 to go, first quarter. you got to watch these two teams. Anything can happen on any play. <laughs> That's Look what makes this game. This game is going to be great tonight because uh, both teams have the ability... And what we talked about earlier is Trinity really has to win this ball game in order to keep their playoff hopes alive. And Keith Fisher's in there now. He's going wide, right, wide right in the slot. Look at that. Three receivers to the, to the right-hand side. Crane down the middle. Touchdown. Oh. 
No, yes, that's yes. down. I, I'm calling it for the official. <laughs> TD to Calabrese, is Calabrese, it? Yep. yep. Tony Calabrese. Watch where he comes from. Uh, this is an interesting lineup. When we see the replay, he's going to come uh, off the uh, the tight end on the right side and then cut back to the weak side, and it's only he and a linebacker, and he's going to make that catch most of the time. Watch this. Got you can't defend it any better. Crane threw an exploding dart there, though. Yep. That thing just surged in there. You can't yeah. defend it any better than that. It's extra point time where they can take the lead. Here's the extra point by Dawson. And he struggled to get it off. It's no good. So we're tied at six. Huh. Prime time, Saturday night football on the Sports Fever Television Network. We got a good one. Milton Hershey and Trinity nodded up at six. Fitness, weight loss, good health. Everybody knows these things are important. At Woody's Workout Club, we can offer you the results you're looking for in a clean, comfortable environment. We offer professional training staff to encourage you and help you get results. A wide variety of group fitness classes, yoga, core training, and many more. Plus children's and youth fitness classes and free child care for members. We can develop a plan for you no matter what your age or fitness level. Isn't it time you joined our growing fitness family? Woody's Workout, where we have a workout for everybody. <laughs> News Center West at the West Shore Plaza in Lemoyne, offering one of the largest selections of magazines in the area, offering 785 different titles, including the hard-to-find sports titles featuring Notre Dame, Penn State, and many more. News Center West also offering 20 out-of-town newspapers from Pittsburgh to Allentown and all of central Pennsylvania. News Center West is where the New York Times bestseller list is always 20% off all the time. Customers come to News Center West for the best personal attention, supporting the community. News Center West, 224 West Shore Plaza, Lemoyne. Lebanon Valley College continuing the college's tradition since 1866. Lebanon Valley College preparing students of promise to become alumni of achievement. For a campus tour, call toll-free 866-LVC-480M or on the web, www.lvc.edu. Henry Hershey Stadium, Henry Hershey Field, rather. Gorgeous night. Interesting uh, thing I want to mention here, Gordon. Uh, we know we've been talking about Trinity has to win to keep their playoff host alive. Milton Hershey never has beaten Trinity. Taking it back to 1998. Five times. Never happened. So there's Dawson that you were, you were mentioning before. Now let's before. talk a little bit about the Dawson family. Right. His brother Mike played at Trinity, and I believe, and he now is at Lebanon Valley College. And his other brother Dave played at uh, McDevitt. Had some tremendous running. I didn't talk about oh, LaShawn yeah. McCoy, but Dave Dawson had some big nights. And a for, lot the, of, uh, for the Crusaders, and he's now Buffalo. That's right. And a lot of eye black for this guy. You like that? He looks like Batman under there. Well, it's, we're getting up on Halloween here soon. <laughs> It'll work. Low line drive. Coming That's back Pope. with it is Pope. This time he's holding on to the football, and he goes down about the 36. Good field position. And I'll take it over at the 36-yard uh, line. We're looking at the touchdown. Boy, you're right. He threw a dart right in there. You can tell he goes. Little, he's been to a lot of camps <laughs> yeah. at the major college level because what you do is you have that short, yep. quick motion. Explosion. You don't mess around with that big arm motion. Institutional folks, especially in the school school district level, check out Performance Roofing Associates. The only roof you'll need for the next 30 years, Firestone Roof Systems. Good stuff. 888-594-6700. Ask for Jeff Purvis. And you know, all this rain we've had, you got to have a good roof these days. Needs to last a long time. You don't want to be messing around with them. First and ten for Milton Hershey. Pope back to throw. They're trying to go deep again. And he's got oh, a man. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Almost goodness. made the catch. I think he it hit his shoulder that pad. One. Yeah, that ball was there. That was Sartongu. We've been watching Sar on both sides of the ball, and he's certainly uh, a key player for Milton Hershey. But watch here. As you mentioned, it does hit his right shoulder pad and bounce, but uh, certainly a, a catchable ball. He got behind Westner there. Westner, he, sure he did. come off the field. Well, Sorry. that's going to be, uh, if they see a weakness there, they're going to exploit that more than once tonight. That'll bring up second down and ten. Second down and ten. And Milton Hershey has been playing great ever since that opening uh, day loss to, to Hershey. That's a long first quarter. It sure is. Minute 35 still to go. There's a lot of passes, a lot of turnovers, two turnovers. That's one true. Each. Inside handoff, that halfback coming around, a wing back. And what's he get, about three yards? Yeah, if they had a lot of dancing on 
on his part and not a lot of yardage. You know, you always try to teach these young kids, you got to keep the feet north and south, not so much east and west. You got to move up and down the field. And uh, a lot of a lot of coaches that just drive some nuts when they see him dancing. Watch right here. That's Thaddeus Davis. Thaddeus Davis. Take take the man head on. See this? Take him head on. Don't be don't be dancing. Don't get the happy feet. So he's kind of holding that football yeah. out there. Though. You got to get that hand over the, the tip of that football so people can't be yeah, knocking it out of there. But there were, uh, every Sunday they're watching the Terrell Owens and those guys hold it out there like a bread, a yeah, loaf of bread. Yeah, like a loaf of bread. Coaches hate that stuff. Hold it like your first paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, nobody in the backfield this time. Pope rolls to his left. Pope's being chased, pretty good here. Gonna get out, trying to get outside. No room there, and he slips and falls and goes down. And, and the there flag. Goes Could be a pass interference call. Well, I think I think the call's gonna be either a hold or a push from the back, something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's on the far side of the field there. Select medical player of the game. Last night it was Dan Lawler for Cumberland Valley, four touchdowns. What a game he had, huh? 100 total yards offense. And tonight we could see maybe Chris Crane, somebody like that who really takes over the ball game. We'll have to wait and see. Maurice Berg got off to a good start with a fun sure. recovery and a touchdown. And a great touchdown. touchdown catch. One for the highlight film, that's for sure. Yeah, he set it up and then made a great catch. Look, it looked like Pope was going to run this right from the start. You know, that's what I was trying to figure out because they had no backs in the backfield. They had everybody wide out. And I think that's almost a designed run in that case. Just send everybody deep and let him try to get that. Uh, that yardage. On They're going to go to fourth down here. They're going to wave that off and go to fourth down. Fourth and ten. So a nice stand there by the Trinity defense. Trinity trying to get their hands back on the ball here in the final minute of the quarter. We're tied at six. There's your punt. Good one. Calabrese at his 31. He's a good one. Yeah, he's got some room. He's out to about the 41. Nice tackle by David Birdwell there. Christian Reedy at Fields Dentistry, 697, 3400. Look at all those things they can do. And the thing is, the technology is, is so advanced now when it comes to dentistry. Oh, they have yeah. it all. So much better than it used to be. You know, going to the dentist was a pain, and you so just you didn't want to go at all. Not bad these days. Get an appointment, get over there, get it checked out. Phone Fields number at the bottom of your screen, 697, 3400. Brand new reason to smile. Well, there's a good phrase for you. Way to go. I like that. First down for Trini here in the final seconds of the first quarter. Straight ahead. Nice run. The fullback. Dan Hirsch. I'll tell you what, after a disastrous start for Trinity, I think they really turned this quarter around in their favor, wouldn't you say? And that's your first quarter. Now still 11 seconds. I've never seen so many times a clock's been stopped <laughs> for whatever reason. It's a long quarter. There's Hurst. I like the way he keeps those legs moving. But they really averted disaster. They uh, fumbled the opening kickoff. We're down six to nothing. And there is a penalty flag. It's holding. It'll go against Trinity. So that'll push the ball back to about the 27-yard line. We didn't see that penalty flag. And that's why the clock did stop. Didn't run out on the... Uh, on uh, the first quarter. So one more play here in the first quarter. But wouldn't you agree as Trinity has turned this thing around in their favor? We'll see. I think this is one of these games that's going to turn on a dime maybe four <laughs> or five times. Last week it was 42-35. So you, you got, got a point. You have to watch every play. You, you got a point. They could, in any game, any play could go the distance. Ooh, good defense. Great gain tackling. I know that's a cliche, yep. but it was all there. Yeah, and Rush comes up and makes a great tackle. That's your first quarter right there from uh, Milton Hershey. Spartan 6, Shamrock 6 on the Sports Fever Television Network. Hi folks, Charlie and Zorndike for Forbes Chevrolet and Forbes One Price Used Vehicles in Camp Hill. It's football season and we want to score six points for you with our outstanding lineup of new vehicles, used vehicles, price, selection, location, and world-class service. So before you get sacked by the competition, Touchdown at Forbes Chevrolet for your six points. Hey, you're in Forbes country. Forbes Chevrolet country. Hi, I'm Jim Cantafio. Susquehanna Valley Sports Incorporated is pleased to announce its partnership with Northeast Sports Group. Come learn from the nation's top Division I and professional football programs. Each of our camps will feature coaches from the top Division I and Division II programs and some of the best coaches from the NFL. In February, we have our coaches clinics. This June, we have our ultimate football camp, our elite quarterback camps, and the Chris Barr kicking camp. And this July, experience our team camps, which are growing year after year. 
Suffering from road rage on the information superhighway, Planet Cable DSL is the answer you have been looking for. With a DSL connection, there are no busy signals, and you get around the net 20 times faster. Call Planet Cable, 717-262-0087. The Internet was meant to be this fast. Well, Tom, you got that rain out of here. It cleared yep. up pretty quickly. You, you said it would be a little wet this morning. Yeah, you ask and you shall receive. So we wanted to clear things out for the game tonight. But it is chilly, so remember, when it's time to get that ball wet and cold, it's tough to handle. But I think that there's guys out there playing football. They don't feel it right now. Tom right Russell from WHP, the chief meteorologist. I'm Gordon Blaine from Sports Fever. Welcome aboard on this Saturday night here in early October. It's a great football game. Trinity and Milton Hershey. Oh. Crane went down hard. Is he hurt? Watch that left leg. Watch that left leg. Now, he's been fighting off a leg injury. And he's, uh, looks like he's okay. He's a big, tough kid. I know. You don't ever like to see anybody go down that way, though, where that leg gets bent back. Hey, it's a little nippy out there. The field's a little wet. Guys are getting muddy. Is this great this is football, football or what? This is Pennsylvania high school football. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little bit of a late hit there. Nothing like it, though. you got to love a night like tonight. And we got a nice crowd on hand to join the game tonight. Look, and look, glad you could join us as well. Larry James, 5'8", 230. Talk about, a, talk about a fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. And he just went down there and hammered Crane. Some on-the-field coaching going on in a big way right there. And Crane set to go now third and extremely long. Now Chris Crane, six carries, 36 yards. So we got Three uh, for eight, 26 yards passing and a touchdown. Delay of game, not what they needed. It was third down and 25. That'll make it third down and 30. Central Penn College, 1-800-759-2727. That's know, a great facility. And it's close to downtown Harrisburg, or in the area, right off of 81. Uh, all kinds of options to continue your education. Focus coursework for the busy adult. Anytime you can do it. Check it out, 1-800-759-2727, or visit them on the web. Crane and he drops. drops the ball. Ah. That's not what they wanted. And the defense was alert enough to grab onto the ankles. Yep. That looked like that. Was that James that grabbed him there? I don't think so. I believe that was uh, Albert Anthony with the tackle. We just talked a second ago about a, a cold, wet field. Tough to handle that football. And uh, nothing more important than that exchange uh, from center to quarterback. Well, they've got about, what? They've got about 35 yards for a first down. Well, they need us to, no, they, they need to get to the 50, so that would be 20. What would you do yards. here, Coach Blaine? Would you, would, would you punt? I think I'd put the foot <laughs> into it. I'd go down and get that cover, and Roosevelt D Davis is back here looking to break one. He's standing on his 40. It goes short of Davis. And he's going to let it roll. And he did Trinity a favor. He, yeah. He did. 34 yard line. That's where Milton Herschel set up. Early second quarter. Reading Royals. Hey, if you're a Flyers fan mm -hmm. or a Bears fan and if our Phantoms and, and they're not in town, here's where you go. Just go down to that. That's a great facility, the Sovereign Center. Grand new Sovereign Center. And uh, folks there, it's hard to believe that it's hockey season, but it is. It is underway. Call 610-898-PUCK. Uh, that's 7825. Or toll-free 1-866-789-ROAR. And they also have a website. You can visit that, royalshockey.com. The Reading Royals are uh, ready to skate already. Hockey season. Watching those uh, exhibition games already. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Where are you out? There's the coach of the uh, Shamrocks, Jeff Boger. Yep. Jeff in his uh, fourth season. He's got a great record, 27-11. and 11. Boy, what a great season they had last year, huh? And he's got a challenge right now to get this football team back in the win column. That was some good defense there, though. Let's get the Davis. Roosevelt Davis. That's a great name for running back, and he's a pretty good running back. Came into the game with 511 yards, 95 carries. That's about, I get quick math, that's about five yards a carry. Man, you are like a calculator is what you are. And 10 touchdowns in five games. That'd be two touchdowns a game. Oh, man, you're good. Jeez. You are good. Got to bring up second down and a long I got a nine. Penn State education. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, my, mom, my mom and dad are proud of that anyways. Oh, I'm, we're proud of you too there, Gordon. Okay. Second down along for their own 35. 9.16 to go. And Pope's going to keep it himself. Calls his own number. Thought he might catch the defense sleeping. No, uh, uh Nope. Not on this Saturday night. Third down and long. And uh, speaking of Pope and numbers, what's the deal with the 38? Do you know the story behind that? Good question. Don't know that. Most quarterbacks, you would see an 11 or a 12 or a 7 or something like that. Probably start out at another position, decide I want to keep my that 38. Could be. It could be. Yeah, that's probably an easy explanation. There may be something behind it. That could be. 
Take a little while to get to play in here. So uh, third down, always a tough call. Third down and long. There's that Maurice Bird again in there. He's going wide right. Yeah, Get the watch feeling him. he's going to make another play here. He's on the far side of your screen. Keep an eye on him. He's up in man coverage. And guess what that is? And that's delay. Delay a game. Too much time. Call it what you want. They're going to cost them five yards. Love Affair 2003. Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Great fundraiser. And if you want to rub elbows with some of the, some, some real blue chip <laughs> tennis talent, these Luke guys have... Cash some big yeah, these checks. are the good names. Luke Jensen, Murphy Jensen, Jimmy Arias, uh, Ricky Rennenberg. Uh, you guys, uh, you probably play tennis against some of these guys. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Pennsylvania Telephone Products, we appreciate your support of uh, Sports Weaver Television uh, Network and football and uh, things we bring you on Friday nights. Give them a buzz at 763 1400. Third and long for Pope and the Spartans. He's got some time. Now he's getting chased. A little jump pass. Wow. Oh, the receiver came back to it but couldn't make the catch. That's one of the things you really like to see, especially in a young team. Uh, Sartungu, the receiver, coming back to the quarterback. It's one of the hardest things to teach a young receiver. Uh, when you're first starting out, you say, you got to come back, help the quarterback out. And uh, that's what we like to see. Unfortunately, they were not able to complete that pass you see there on the The defensive end, David Gillis. Good hit coverage. Hit Pope yep. as he was throwing the football. Good timing right at the right time. Both quarterbacks are really keys to their offense. Dynamic players, mm -hmm. but they're both taking a pounding right now. The defense <laughs> is really getting some uh, helmets on them right now. Good point. Fourth down. Here comes the punny situation. Got a big rush by the Shamrocks. They're going to try to block it for a return. And Calabrese can, can really scoot with it. He's got some, uh, flags are down. some room there, but there was a clip. We'll step out. Second quarter on the Sports there, Fever Television Network. We're tied at six. Believe me, I know it's quite like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension. This is it. You're love Split folding it. rear seats for more cargo space. Excuse me. Check it out. Dent-resistant side panels. I'm cool. The Saturn View. Get in, get away. Get a new 2003 Saturn View at 0% APR financing and $1,000 toward your down payment. For restrictions, see your retailer. Some moments in life are too precious to miss. Heart disease is the number one killer of women, claiming 10 times more lives than breast cancer. Learn your risks. Let Pinnacle Health Heart Care for Women be your resource for a heart-healthy life. Call 1-877-HEART-PH. That's 1-877-432-7874 for a free risk assessment. West Haver Construction, proud supporters of youth programs. West Haver Construction, commercial, industrial, institutional, new construction, expansions, renovations, turnkey fit-outs. West Haver Construction, wishing all teams good luck with this year's sports season. We're in the second quarter at Henry Hershey Field here at Milton Hershey for the campus. So what a beautiful place this is. Can't say it enough because this uh, is pristine. I can't believe it's a high school field. This is a gorgeous place to play some football. Great working conditions. I told you I'd take care of you, Mr. Tom you Russell. Right? You doing all right? TR, Let's second go. quarter at the 35, and here comes the Shamrock, 6-6. A lot of action, but not a lot of scoring. I, that, that may take off the meter. The scoring meter may get going right here. <laughs> I think we may see that soon. Calabrese. Calabrese on the carry there. Northeast Sports Group does, has joined with Jimmy Cantafio, the coach at Wilson. Right. Great guy. Has a lot of camps. His Susquehanna Valley sports camps, team camps, individual camps, position camps. Find out about it. You know, hey, if you got a junior high football player, he's getting he's getting interested in things now. Don't get him waste these camps. Yep. They're not expensive at all. And they also sponsor the Gold Norm Award. That's the top quarterback. And, of course, last night that was Corey Bischoff. And what a nice game he had. And I'll tell you, that list is beginning to grow. And it's pretty <laughs> impressive. Trini, uh, Trini, I think, is taking a timeout. So let's go down the field to, to James. I think uh, James Staley, our guy on the sidelines, uh, rushing to a camera. We'll give him a chance to catch his breath. James, go ahead. I want to tell you a little bit about senior fullback Dan Hirsch. He was born with a birth defect and only left him with his right hand. But he's had number two uh, fullback for them. He's, he's having just an outstanding game. 
Also, he's on the Trinity Championship basketball team. He only has a right hand, and, he, and uh, head coach Jeff Boger says he's one of the most gifted athletes on his team. And you're looking at Hirsch right there. Good point, James, and uh, thanks for pointing that out. What an amazing guy, uh, you know, to come through from that. I mean, that's all gut. That just comes... That's a guy who reaches down each and every play and makes it happen. I, I, I love watching a kid cut, overcome this, something like that. This kid is just true grit. He's tough. Oh, man. He's I, just a tough, tough cuss. I love, I love it. This is just what it's all about. That's I, why we do this. I want him on my team any day of the week. Nice to see that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, talk about second down here at your Trinity, and you're saying we were able to move the football. But is this the chance that you want to start putting the ball up in the air, downfield a little bit? You ready to take some chances yet, Gordon? Well, I wonder why they called the timeout, though. And I think that Coach Boger just decided, look, I, I don't feel comfortable. We're not organized. I, yeah. I want us to get out there and do a couple things and do it right. Uh, and let's because it was second down and seven. You don't want to burn the timeout this early in yeah. the second quarter. I think that's good coaching. If you think that things are out of whack and you're not set, go ahead and take the time and get things right. Green, he's got the first down. And a little bit more inside. That's Calabrese. Calabrese on the reception. He's putting some, she put some mileage on the treads right now. He's <laughs> he doing is. it all. You know, I love watching Kiss Crane because you mentioned it before. He's got great mechanics. Here's a kid who's obviously studied the position, studied the, uh, the mechanics, and you see that each and every time he drops back to throw the ball. Really enjoyable to watch, and I know uh, Boston College likes to see those basics just pounded into him. Here's the pass right on the money. Calabrese got open. Plummer and Davis were there. Rush was trying to close. Puts the first down to 48 for the Shamrocks. That's Hirsch finding some room, spinning out of tackles inside the 40 to the 36, 35. First down. Just talking about just talk about Hirsch and uh, fun to watch him run. But you know what made that play happen? The pass before. You can see Trinity starting to set things up. You remember the uh, coach Joe Boger just called the uh, timeout. He's setting things up. He said, okay, we're going to come out pass. We're going to catch him off guard. And then we fake the pass and hand it right up the gut. Well, when you start completing passes, it's wonders what it can do for your running yep. game. And vice versa. That's, that's right. If you vice can versa. open some holes in the line of scrimmage and get people to, to be so run conscious, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage and sometimes no coverage and people are wide open. Crane gives it to Hirsch again. Wow. Hirsch gets hammered about the 31, but he gets, he gets about four. Four yard lines. Very nice. Tell you what, we gave you a whole box of those these oh. club sandwiches, and <laughs> what you did was you handed me one and you kept the box. <laughs> Wasn't that the way it was supposed to happen? You had those for breakfast, lunch, <laughs> lunch dinner. You know, I love the folks at Costas Candies. They're, they want to help you make some money. That's the good thing That's about the them. Line. Great fundraising opportunities. Uh, just give them a call 1 800 507 1008. 507 uh, 1008. Also, they sponsor our, our fan poll question. What region of Pennsylvania has the best high school football? Register your vote at PASportsFever.com. It's like somebody either drew the uh, Spartans defense off or they just got a little over anxious. I think it's going to go against Milton Hurst. I think see. so, too. It looked like they were just a little eager on that play. Well, the game wasn't even two minutes old when uh, Josh Pope hit Maurice Bird for a great touchdown, a great catch by Bird in the corner of the end zone. It looked like Birdwell had it covered and made the uh, made the grab. Hey, the other thing I want to mention on this drive so far, Hirsch, who've been watching just pound the ball, seven carries, 30 yards already. So nicely done. And then Crane hit Calabrese for a touchdown late for second first quarter, and that's where we're at, six six. And both uh, extra points, waypoint extra points were weren't good. Both kicks were missed. And that's why we stand at six six. Crane looking, he's got a strong arm. He puts it on the money. To Wester, who's trying to find some running room and kind of ran backwards and lost the lost maybe lost the first down. No, I think he got. No, I think he's okay with the first down. But coaches hate to see. We talked about running north and south before. They hate to see people run backwards. That just drives a coach bananas. Hey, if you're there, take the uh, take the pass completion. I'll tell you what. I, what I, the way I one of the things you look for for a, a blue chip quarterback is how does he throw that quick out pass? Yep. I mean, he's got to throw the ball 30 yards for the receiver to get five yards. Right. How quickly does it get out there? He's got a great arm, and he's got great quick release, and that's what you got to have. He's going to, he's got the, he's moving in the right direction. Well, that's why he's a uh, Boston College recruit. They didn't have by accident. This guy is in his practice and knows his mechanics, and you're right. People don't appreciate what goes into that five yard out. That's one of the passes that really defines a quarterback. The other thing that define him as a Division One player, 6'5", 225, and can he run the basketball for him? Straight ahead, quick Whoa. handoff. 
Hirsch again. Dan Hirsch, he had six uh, carries, 30 yards. Now he has seven and about 40 yards. Yeah, he picked up almost eight there. Starting to open up for him right now on that line of scrimmage. Uh, the, that defense, that five-man front that Milton Hershey's throwing at the Shamrocks has been pretty effective, uh, keeping an eye on Crane. But I think that you worry about Crane coming out of there. Who knows what he's going to do? That's going to help your uh, offensive line open some holes up. Of course, they're missing that big Frank Kindler. Second game in a row, Kindler's out with an injury. Oh, the sack, the big sack. Albert Anthony on the sack. A little help from Cornell Robin Coker. And those two guys really put a, a Chris Crane sandwich on there big time. Watch this. How about that that bull rush by the nose guard, Larry James? He got double teamed. He got through it. That opened sure, it up. Yeah. Sure did. For Robin Coker and Anthony to get the sack on Crane. And there was a, a second and short. Turns into a third, third and 12. And that's what, but they're in, the, in great field position. Crane. Throws it low, Wester uh, stops. The call? They're going to say nope. hit the ground. Hit the ground first. Looks like it was a good call. And that'll bring up a fourth down with the ball at about the 27 yard line. Interesting call coming up. Special thanks to our friends at uh, Central Pennsylvania College. Great place if you're looking for some continuing education. You want to focus on that coursework. And it's really tough. You know, you got a family, you're trying to juggle a bunch of things. They've got evening, Saturday, online classes now forming. All you have to do is call their continuing education department at 1 800 759 2727 or visit their website, centralpen.edu. Centralpen.edu. Back to live action. Fourth down now for the Shamrocks. We're going to go for it. Crane in trouble, but he gets out of the tackle. He's tripped up. That was Anthony, I believe. Yeah. Albert Anthony tripped him up. I'd like to see the Milton Hershey defense really step it up, uh, especially knowing it's third down. Watch him uh, get not only a hand on, but several hands on Chris Crane here. And no choice but to run the ball. I like the call, though. Getting getting Crane that freedom to either uh, to either run or pass. I mean, that's, that's what you got to do on fourth down, right? Over on downs. And Milton Hershey's defense has held the Shamrock drive again. Matrini moves the football, but when he get down into that red zone, red zone. Get, now, now watch Coach uh, Volger here, because Coach is saying, you're, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. And he's trying to get them both on the same page there. He said, you know, here's where the receiver's supposed to be. Somebody's not doing the correct assignment uh, offensively there. Here comes the, the, the Spartans with 4.12 to go. Let's see what they can do with four minutes and a half. We're tied at six. Inside handoff to that flanker coming around. Sartunga, I believe. Rush. Rush. Eric Rush. I like that play call, though, because uh, I could see that hole really opening up. One man to beat. This didn't happen that time. And I think we're going to have an equipment timeout. Recruiting. Recruiting, recruiting. <laughs> market, 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 market. These guys put the two together for moms and dads yep. so that sons and daughters can gain some advantages when they go to the college level. Hey, college ain't cheap. you got to have the best advantage. Yeah, but there's a lot can. of money to be had out yeah. there, a lot of opportunities. And you, maybe your kid just wants to play. 877-432-7400. They're going to put together a nice packaged DVD or disc. And it's going to look good. Pope's just... Trying to be. That's Pope. I think that was a designed option. A little bit hard to say. But he, on his own athletic ability, went all the way back to the other side of the field. So I know it wasn't designed to go to the right, but he still was able to get some positive yardage. Pope was trying to get something out of nothing there. Tr trying to be tough to take down. Matt Hirsch had a handle on him and couldn't bring him down. Yep. So getting down about three minutes left in the half. Pope awaiting the uh, play call from the sideline. It's third down, it's short, and they'd like to keep this drive going. This is Bobby Geyer, his his record in 20 in his 20th season at Milton Hershey, 95, 105, and 5. But they had a great team a couple years ago. Oh, he's got Bird again. Oh, oh and Bird could bring it in. He had beaten Westner. He had him beat and in a Maurice big way. was going to make another big play, and he was thinking touchdown before he put his hands on it. Watch this. The great pass from Pope. He puts it right on the money. Only his guy can get it. Oh, in the bread basket. Now, this is the guy that scored your first touchdown, so you can't get mad at him, but no. come on. It was a great call because he had, obviously, they set that up. He got behind the yep. defense. 
it goes Calabrese now. I mean, it, you're gonna, you're just playing with fire here, kicking the ball to him. Milton Hershey, 16 plays, a total of only 35 yards, so they're anxious to get some offense going. Oh, that's not a great punt. Low liner's going to hit. Oh, it kind of stuck. just died, didn't it? That looks like you're a nine iron. <laughs> I was just going to say. In the middle of the, but in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> middle of the fairway. <laughs> but we, we could do it without Harrisburg copies. Uh, they, they, all this stuff you have here is because Harrisburg copies. This is first class. 800-564-7002. And tell them you saw their ad on primetime Saturday night football. And what's great about that, they've been part of the community for over 30 years. They're not one of these folks who just opened up shop last week. They're going to take care of you and uh, make sure you get the job done the way you want it. I know you've been, you, you, you took all my Costas candies from me. Now you want to get a couple <laughs> free T-shirts. Yeah, where are my free well, T-shirts? They're on their way from Valley Specialties. And here's the key here. Design Sportswear, Penn State license. License, there you go. And that's a first down for Trinity. Trinity's out to about midfield on that play. 570-788-5654. All right, I will get a free T-shirt from those guys, right? Oh, I'm earning it tonight. Let's get play. you a nice, nice, nice <laughs> golf shirt. All right. Maybe with your fairway nine. I was going to say, maybe to help my golf game. We're down to 220 remaining in the first half. And Trinity on the drive now. Already in Milton Hershey territory. Bobby Geyer working that sideline for the time. Spartans. Trying to hold on here, 6-6. Six, six. They got on the board in the first two minutes, but really haven't had much offense since. And Trini's getting a lot of yards, but not many points. Uh. But, you know, there Crane gets nailed as he's throwing the football. You mentioned that before. Each quarterback, you're not seeing it on the uh, on the end of the play, but they're getting pounded after they throw that ball. Jonathan Plummer, I believe, gets through here. And just really, yep, he blitzed sure from does. his linebacker spot and nailed Crane as he was throwing in the, the throw was short. And it throws off the timing. The quarterback, you know, he likes to take that three-step drop, take a second, and then bam. And if that timing's not on, then the pass is going to be off. And that's what we saw on that play right there. I thought we would see Chris Crane in some shotgun here, trying to throw that ball downfield across the middle, and that hasn't been the case. A lot of it's real two or three step drop, quick look, quick yep. throws out to the flank. Here's Crane, rolling, throwing, oh, he didn't oh, throw a very good ball there. Close. He's not planting his feet. They're, they're he's a little bit out of sorts uh, on that play there, because he's just kind of running, backpedaling a little they're bit. They're blitzing Plummer every play now. Yep. Cindy Rowe Auto Glass uh, sponsors the championship trophy. Every team that wins I love a primetime Friday or Saturday night game gets a trophy for the for the trophy case, a memento of being part of this uh, television event. That's a good-looking trophy right there. And uh, Last year, Milton Hershey was our inaugural game in the Cocoa Bean Bowl against Hershey. Hershey got the trophy. Obviously, Milton Hershey would like to get one tonight as well. And speaking of that, Milton Hershey never has beaten Trinity. And it's a timeout here with two minutes, 158 to go. And we'll step out as well. Prime time, Saturday Night Football, 6-6 six, six to 6 to score. We'll be back after this. News Center West at the West Shore Plaza, Lemoyne, offering one of the largest selections of magazines in the area. Choose from over 785 different titles. News Center West, where the New York Times bestseller list is always 30% off all the time. We also offer an array of gift items for Penn State fans, backpacks, bobbleheads, and books on Joe Paterno. News Center West, offering a large selection of candles in our boutique, gift balloons by the hundreds, stuffed animals of all sizes, and floppy ears and love pets, and wedding essentials. Supporting the community, News Center West, West Shore Plaza, Lemoyne. The Nokia 3300 from Singular, amazing. This keyboard makes text messaging so easy, so fast, it's just like talking. Plus, I can download and play MP3s. Wow. With this, I got my friends and my music with me. All the time. Singular brings you the Nokia 3300. Text messaging, an MP3 player, and a phone all in one. And right now, it's just $99.99. I call it my phone. The new Nokia 3300. Another reason to come in and see why Singular fits you best. Don't let anything stop you. For unbeatable steaks, baby back ribs, or our award-winning crab cakes, Doc Holliday's world-class steak, and a whole lot more. Well, stay tuned for our Singer Wireless at the half show with Keith Shutter. Shutter uh, back at uh, Doc Holliday's. I wish I was at Doc Holliday's. A couple good features, steaks. and we'll set it up uh, for the second half when he brings it back to us. Crane on that center screen. Yep. Oh, there's Hirsch. Hirsch. here. Here's Hirsch. 
Hirsch is down to the 35-yard line. Great call. We've been saying that Milton Hershey has been blitzing, and those linemen have been getting back to the quarterback time after time after time. That is the perfect call to the feet there. Well, because Plummer keeps, you know, he just opens it up there, and they're just daring him to throw it there. Watch that. See, Chris Crane makes it happen, too, because he draws it back, draws it back, draws it back, then dumps it off, and the Hirsch makes it happen from there. That offensive lineman. There's Hurt, or Crane, rather. And out to oh, Calabrese. Calabrese. Now we have a penalty flag. Flag goes down. Well, they sort that out. We're going to tell you about Northeast Sports Group, and now they've got joined with uh, Jim Cataffio's Susquehanna Valley Sports. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows about his camps. Now the two together, and you've got some great options yeah. for your team or for your individual position players. 1-800-845-2892. And I'll tell you what, they're priced right. And they sponsor our Golden Arm Award, which uh, so far has been, what would you say, Chris Crane at this point? Marcus Pope has done his thing, but not necessarily by his arm. Well, Pope has two for three in the passing department, 19 yards in a TD. Yeah. All right, we're awaiting uh, play here with a minute 33 remaining in the half. And Trinity, I think, would like to uh, take that little momentum, that little extra score in before the half. He's got the Frank in there now. And Westner here to our near side. Oh, and he drops, oh, he the, fumbles the, drops snap the snap on first and 15. And it looks like the officials say that uh, Trinity has covered up. But oh, that's a big mistake. Yeah, because you had the ball to 35. Now you're back close to the 45. And uh, you're just marching the wrong way here, down to a minute 16 remaining in the half. And, I, you know, I mentioned it before, it's wet, it's cold, it's not raining, but it's certainly tough to get a handle on the football. I think we're going to be seeing our, seeing our breath here pretty it. soon. <laughs> a little chilly even here I in the booth. What, it's one thing to work with a guy with, with a football background, but a guy who knows weather. <laughs> if you know weather, that you, you're telling somebody a bill of goods <laughs> that nobody knows weather. Don't go there. <laughs> Easy now. Just like I don't know about these. Anybody says they can pick football games, they're That's crazy. That's right, same thing. You might as well go pull the one-armed bandit. Same thing, you're right. 45 seconds remaining. It's Green. Ah. Green just has no time because they brought the house. Seven, eight guys rushed for Milton Hershey. And Trinity now with no timeouts remaining. 30 seconds, 29, 28 seconds. And they've got the ball way back now at midfield. It's going to bring up third and forever. And what do you think, Gordon? you think they'll try to throw a long one or just run the clock out here? Looks like they're going to run the clock out. Well, they're just so disorganized. I mean, they just don't seem like they know what they want to do. Watch the penetration here from Milton Hershey. Boy, they are all well, over their Dog Chris Dogba is just beating his man every time. And they're going to let the clock run. We're down to five seconds. Four. This, Trinity would not have done this last year. If you remember that, they would have taken the last 15 seconds and heaved that ball. And that'll do it for the first half. You know, Steve Kindler's been getting some time on that offensive line, and he's really had a tough time trying to deal with Dogba. All right, we've got Coach Geyer. James Staley's our guy in the sidelines. He's got Coach Bobby Geyer from Milton Hershey. James? All right, I'm here with Milton Hershey, head coach Bob Geyer, and I talked to you earlier in the week, and you said you thought this would be a tight game. Is this everything you expected? Great football game in the first half. There's two, two good teams that are just really going after each other out there. And what kind of adjustments are you going to make at halftime? Well, I, I think defensively we've done well. They've gotten some points on the board after a turnover deep in our territory. Offensively, we would like to establish a little bit more on the ground if we could in the second half. We'd like to do that if we could. Hey, Coach Geyer, good luck to you in the second half. 6-6 six, six game, heck of a game. And Tom and Gordon, let me tell you what, there is some hard hitting down here. Well, we see that. Uh, I, James, I, you just stay on the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you getting hurt. Take it easy there, pal. We've been seeing a great game. We are tied up after one half of play. Okay, it's halftime. And we're going to join uh, our singular wires at the half with Keith Shedder at uh, Doc Holliday's. Sounds good. We're going to have a hot dog and a Coke. Let's do it. On the Sports Fever Television Network. The Caddy Shack Restaurant, located at Armitage Golf Club on Orchard Road in Mechanicsburg, a central Pennsylvania tradition for great food, great prices, great service, great time. Caddy Shack offering specials every day from our bucket of wings, mild to hot for just $9.95, to our juicy 16-ounce sirloins every Tuesday for $9.95. The Caddy Shack, a great place for casual fun night out, a perfect venue for banquets and private parties. Call us 975-0940. Spend time with us at the Caddy Shack at the Armitage Golf Club, Orchard Road. Road Mechanicsburg. 
Join the West Shore Health Club, where you'll be able to work out in a friendly, relaxing atmosphere. They have multiple exercise rooms, a swimming pool, and the most cardio exercise equipment in the area, so you never have to wait to start your training. For over 35 years, the West Shore Health Club has been making fitness fun. And as a member, you also receive a full membership to World Gym in Harrisburg, open 24 hours Monday through Friday. No matter where you are, you'll only be minutes away from your workout. The West Shore Health Club in Camp Hill and World Gym in Harrisburg, the area's most complete fitness centers. At Mohawk Arts, we specialize in custom emblematic jewelry, awards, plaques, pins, and much, much more for your booster club or service organization. For a free consultation, call Bob Cannell, 652-3276. The service